and are we prepared even if they could they could uh char recharge a fleet of vehicles <laughs> are we going to run into problems with uh, electricity for heating our homes and turning the lights on because these companies are are um are are refueling their uh, their vehicles well it's a false economy right now because you know we have road tax on fuel when are we going to get it on electricity if we're going to be using it for that right and you look at california i mean they're constantly saying turn your air conditioners off in the in the middle of the summer so we don't have brownouts but yet drive your electric car right but charge it at night and there's just and then if you have a catastrophe of sorts, like we've had in uh, hurricanes in Florida, everybody lines up on the highway to escape and they're sitting there for eight, eight hours, 10 hours, at least in their internal combustion car, they got a chance. In their electric car, they're not going to find anywhere to charge it. When we, when we had that power outage here in um, Burlington and the folks down on Lakeshore were out of power for what, two weeks or so, or over at least a week, they were going out to their cars to charge their phones. <laughs> but who's charging your car so you can charge your phone? You know, so it's not super practical. It fits in a niche. There's no doubt about that. So 